actually a very special video. Today, um, I'm going to be showing you how to make a very simple recipe for the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Now, this is a biblical feast that follows right after Passover. As stated in Exodus 12, 20, you shall eat nothing leavened in all of your dwellings. You shall eat unleavened bread. Exodus 12, 20. Now, we normally eat the matzos or no leaven in general, but I like sweet, so we're going to be making a very special recipe by someone unknown. Let's get started. Disclaimer, before starting your recipe, please make sure to wash your hands. You are going to need whole milk, Himalayan salt, butter, all-purpose flour, honey, coconut oil, and heavy whipping cream. Now before starting, please preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Now, you're gonna to wanna to add five cups of flour into a large bowl. When you're finished with that, you're gonna to wanna to melt your butter and add one cup of coconut oil as well. And four tablespoons of honey. Make sure you're doing this on low. Now you're gonna to wanna to get one cup of milk and also add that to your mixture. And one third cup of heavy whipping cream. Now before adding both mixtures together, you're gonna to wanna to add one quarter teaspoon of Himalayan salt and begin to mix with a spoon or fork. Once you're satisfied with the texture, wash your hands and start to knead. Once you feel that you're satisfied with the texture, you're gonna to wanna to put them on a floured cutting board. I'm going to separate them and save the other half for later. You're gonna to wanna to flatten out the bread nicely and then begin to put it on some parchment paper. Once you flatten it out enough, you can go ahead and use a rolling pin. Make sure to roll out all sides evenly. Now it's time to cut them out. Um, you're normally supposed to cut them in squares, but I wanted to get creative and make little biscuit shapes. Now it's time to put them in the oven and please have parental supervision while doing this. Now you're gonna wanna check on them in about 10 minutes. Once that beeped, you're gonna wanna go ahead and take them out. They should be lightly colored on the top and slightly toasted on the bottom. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this super simple recipe that you may try it for yourself and enjoy your Passover, your feast, your rest during these challenging times. You can feel, uh, feel free to get creative, like with cream cheese, jelly, um, anything. They're unleavened, then rice. They're really good, they're like a little cracker. Now, before we go, I wanna say the verse of the day. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with old leaven, nor with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened of full bread, sincerity and truth. 1 Corinthians 5.8.